Hi there Capricorn, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your July 2017 general reading. And all whatever's meant to come out will come out, so we're about to find out. This is for Capricorn, July 2017. Thank you to all my subscribers and my likes and my shares and my commenters and my bookings. So you guys have keep me keep <laughs> kept me very busy and if you've watched me for a while now you know that sometimes I can't spit the words out it's just the way it is um, I think and it's only when I'm doing readings so this it must be this I'm hearing too much and I'm trying to say too much I don't know um, but anyway this is for Capricorn July 2017 if you would like to book a private reading please email me that's the best way uh, Facebook and anything else is just I have to go back and forth to too many spots it's better if we do it via email that way I don't have to play the runaround game this is for Capricorn what do you have for Capricorn in July what do they need to know what's this month hold in store for Capricorn Back to having allergies. I do apologize. I haven't taken any Benadryl. Capricorn, July 2017. Okay, I think we're ready. Oh, fire sign. Aquarius, Libra. Oh, no. Fire. <laughs> Damn it. It is a fire sign. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Sorry. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> this is for Capricorn. Water sign. Love. Happily ever after. Mm. Oh, new chapter. Look at that. And you've been waiting for it. a new chapter leads to happily ever after and feeling very proud. Yay. Mm -mm. After a time of conflict, perhaps there was a conflict that is now over, okay? And it feels great. You're feeling great. And your home life feels awesome. It feels like it, there's, it's happily ever after. It's a very dreamy situation. Capricorn. We're talking about July. Okay, here's a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Then we have the fire sign. We have a Gemini. And then we have you over here, which is Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, but it's you in this reading. Slow and steady. Um, organized. And it looks like you are just welling with love. Okay? It does. It looks like it's a very loving period of time. The beginning of the month, you're feeling <laughs> great. You're in love at the beginning of the week. Capricorn could be with a fire sign or a water sign but there's definitely some disarray there's some disarray here right at the beginning of July there's some disorganization could be at work it could be it could be at work there's some disorganization or uh, realignment okay Perhaps there's a restructure or something. There's something being reorganized. Could be at work. But you're secure, so don't worry about it. You're secure. You're valuable. Put it that way. 
You are valuable. <laughs> Here, we have an unexpected choice coming up. And it's, it pertains to your love life. It's an unexpected choice that pertains to your love life. It could involve this water sign or a Gemini, but it is going to be, it does um, involve starting a new chapter in your life, and it could be a very loving chapter. I think that maybe, maybe you've made a choice recently, which has, leaded, which has led to a new chapter in your life, okay? The wheel has spun and you're moving forward like you would anyway. This is you moving forward, steady, proud, accomplished. Yay! Looks really good. It looks like the beginning of the month, everything is going very well. Um, any conflicts are over. There's no more conflicts at the beginning of the month. Everything is smooth, except for right here. In your job, I think in your job, there may be a little bit of um, disorganization or worry. <laughs> well, things certainly do change, Capricorn. You know how life is, things change. Um, you are going to be uh, thrown a decision regarding love, okay? You are. I mean, the, there's going to be a decision that you need to make, and this is down towards the second to third week of July. Okay. There's going to be a decision that you're going to be presented that you would have never considered, that you never even thought of. Um, it's an unexpected choice regarding love. Perhaps um, you're already attached to one person and um, somebody else shows up. I'm just saying this because this could happen. Or there's a three-way thing here, you know, or there's a new three-way thing and it's time to let it go. I mean, one has to go. It's a split from something. A split from somebody, okay? And choosing one. You have to choose one. Three's a crowd. Capricorn, three's a crowd, okay? You can't have them both. When you let something go, the new chapter begins and it leads to true love. It does. It leads to true love. In a major transformation, it's a new chapter in your life. Second or third week, you're gonna you're gonna start something new. You're gonna take a step in a different direction. That's the truth. Something old is ending, and something new is beginning. The second to third week of July. You don't know what this is. It's unexpected. It's meant to be unexpected. So whatever you think this is, just stop thinking that because it's unexpected. Okay. This is a Scorpio. This is you. And this is happily ever after. This is a Scorpio Cancer Pisces. This is the wheel turning. A major change. A major life change. This is a transformation. Moving from one chapter to the next. Moving from one life lesson to the next. That's what this is. And so this is, this is the third week. Okay, this is the third week. Here, you're steady, you know, you're steady and you're feeling very proud by the second week. By the end of the second week, everything is going good. Seems like there's no more conflicts. Everything looks great. I'm feeling really, really good by the sec by the end of the second week. Okay, everything is good at home. There's no more conflicts. Um, there's love. I'm feeling love. I'm giving love. This is you. And I'm saying I'm like I'm you, but I'm not a Capricorn. But anyway, I'm giving love. I'm feeling love. I've, I'm feeling pretty secure with my money, you know. I'm not having any worries with my money. I'm fe feeling secure. <coughs> but there's changes going on in the next week, okay? Big ones, okay? Steps. 
in a different direction. There's steps in a different direction, okay? Here, you're leaving something that you are connected to behind. Do you see it? You're leaving something. This is the third week now. This is a new, this is a new endeavor, a new sexual partner, a new business venture, okay? It's a new discovery, okay? That was brought to you, and it's just, it's a new discovery about love, okay? It could be somebody from the past, it's somebody, or it's just a new interest, a new spark of love, a new spark of emotion, okay? And it's very unexpected because you always thought, I mean, you have thought, that you wouldn't even entertain that but you are entertaining it because the magnetic pull is so strong you can't not entertain it um, so now something has to go you three is a crowd I mean you can't it's just the way it is just saying something has to go and when you finally decide to make a choice the wheel spins the wheel spins and you start your new chapter. This is both new chapter. You're going to start a new chapter. Okay, it is going to happen. And in your security, your wealth, your money, your your job or whatnot isn't even going to be a problem because you're secure there. You're definitely secure right there. <laughs> oh, we're going to finish out. We're going to finish out June 1st. I mean July. I'm sorry. June. I was doing my date book a little while ago, and that's where that came from. We are finishing out June. We're moving into July. Okay, so by the fourth week, okay, this new thing that you have started, this new thing that you are that you have um, been uh, presented with, is making you feel very content. You're feeling very content, even though you had to leave something that something go. You're feeling good. All right abundant secure it feels so good the pull is so good that how could you not all right look at it yeah you gotta let something go you can't cry over losing something and you're not going to I think you're gonna just move on and you're gonna feel fantastic look at these it's the end of any struggle it's the end of any struggle it's a new welling of love and abundance okay which which uh, catapults you into the new chapter it does that's what's happening okay and you are gonna feel this is a celebration you're gonna be like wow I feel so good you're gonna be feel like dancing I mean, you're going to feel really, really good about this. All right, so you go from conflicts at the beginning of the month. They're over with. The conflicts are over, and you feel it at the beginning of the month. But they were there in June, okay? So that's probably why June came out. I don't know. They were there in June. There were conflicts in June, but there isn't any more. You're feeling no conflicts, you're feeling secure, and you're actually feeling happy by the end of the month. And you're ready to start your new journey with faith and trust. And your new journey is about love, real love. It is. The ultimate outcome on your new journey is love. Okay? Pay attention to your dreams, okay? Just so you know. <clears throat> your dreams are telling you something. This is vivid dreams right here, okay? This too, this is about dreams as well. And they're connected. 
So pay attention to your daydreams and your night dreams, okay? So often when I tell people dreams, they just think dreams at night. No, we all have daydreams. So I'm, I've been reiterating that to people. When you dream, you dream awake and you dream asleep. You know, there's subconscious and conscious dreams. Pay attention to those. They are telling you something. They are. This main line up right set here says, go ahead, follow your path. Follow your path. You are very grounded. All right? You are. You are grounded. You're stable. You're secure. You have no fear. You have no fear. You might as well just move forward and not even worry about it. And that's what you're going to do. You're not going to worry about it. When you decide to let this go, you're going to move on. It's, it's going to be so easy for you. I don't see any struggle with moving on. I don't. You, you make the break and it's over. You know, and you move on to a new chapter of your life. Big time. A new chapter of your life. Second to third week, you're taking steps. More steps in that direction. And here, you see... Here it's unbalanced. At the beginning of July, you're unbalanced, okay? Could be at work, you're unbalanced. Down here, everything balances out by the fourth week. This choice was presented to you. You decided to split with something. You decided to make a cut. And now things are balanced out again. When you make the cut, you also took, a, uh, took the steps on your new chapter, on your new path. You made the cut. It's a big change. Things are balanced out. You feel good. You want to go out and have some fun. You're ready. Let's go have some fun. Let's celebrate this new journey I'm about to take with faith and trust and not even worrying about what's on the other end. I'm going to go in it head first. And you're proud, okay? You have a lot of faith. You're going to follow your path with faith. A lot of spiritual... Uh, guidance here. I think that you are um, following your spiritual path. We're going to try to get some romance for Capricorn. What can we get for romance? It looks like the, you're going to be presented with a choice regarding love. Okay? And it's an unexpected choice. And, it, you know, it could lead to a new sexual partner or you choosing between two partners, okay? Or, um, that one came flying out. No or. It's making a choice between two partners. That's what I think this is. And you're going to have to make the choice. You're going to be forced to make the choice because it's time for the wheel to spin. It's time for the wheel to spin. It's time for a transformation to begin. And it is going to happen. And steps are going to be taken in that direction. It is going to balance things out rather than things being disorganized, okay? The disorganization at the beginning of the month or the disarray or the conflict at the beginning of the month is going to go away. All right? Um... And it's going to turn to love. It is. It's going to turn to love and, and uh, focusing on your home life. All right? There's not going to be any more conflicts as there was in July. There was conflicts. I see the conflicts going away. And you feeling really proud and happy about that. And secure. Okay? You're feeling secure. And I think that you're about to start a brand new journey that you have no experience in, none. 
This is a journey that you know nothing about. Um, you're unaware. You are unaware of what's ahead of you, but you're going anyway. You're on your way. Capricorn, July 2017. Man, that makes sense. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. It's true. If you need to let somebody go, make the effort. Because great love, which is right here, is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. I mean, you have this great love and abundance and security that wants to be with you. And it's going to be. But you need to make a couple steps. Look at it. This is beautiful. This is happily ever after for real. Security, stability, love, children, family, the whole package. The whole package. You that's being offered to you, Capricorn. All right. It's available, put it that way. All right. But you need to make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. What have I just told you to do? What does your intuition tell you to do? What does the universe tell you to do? Something needs to go. Something needs to go. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type or expectations. You are going to be presented with somebody that you did not expect. And that is the damn truth. And it's going to cause a transformation. It's going to cause this wheel to spin and a new chapter to start. And that's just the way it is. And this is second, third week. This is fourth week. Oh, no, this isn't fourth week. This is uh, end of first, second. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. That's probably the conflicts that you've been having is with your parents, Capricorn. They're over. They're over. They're proud of you. Your parents are proud of you. You see the proudness right here? They see what you've accomplished. Healing family issues. This is first, second week, okay? All of these are first, second week. I'm going to do three more for down here. These are first, second week. <coughs> Oh my God, I thought that from way long ago. I did. Oh Jesus, excuse my language. It's true. Um, and I believe in God and I, you know, he, he forgives me every single day for the words that come out of my mouth, thank God. Thank you God, see? See, we, we, uh, we have a great relationship. But anyway, we're down to the, um, <laughs> There's some kind of funny noises going on. They're talking to me. Anyway, down at the um, end of the month, third, fourth week. But this is, this is, uh, this is, it's going to, it's going to present itself up here. This unexpected thing. I told you this long ago at the beginning of the reading. I think it's somebody from the past. I do. There's no doubt about it. I feel it. And you're going to be like, I, I never would have even reconsidered that. <laughs> That's when I swore when I saw these two cards because I knew it. Have you been dreaming about somebody, Capricorn? Have you? Remember, healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Forgive your parents. They are proud of you. 
They are. There's no, there's not any more conflicts. Now it's in your hands. Okay? And this falls right in line with that. It's true. Whatever conflicts that you've had in the past with your parents or whoever, it's over. Forgive your parents. Move on with faith and trust. Move on with faith, faith and trust. Be proud. They're proud of you. You be proud of yourself. Okay? You be proud. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. <clears throat> Love yourself first. Okay? That's the biggest message of them all. Love yourself first. <laughs> Great love is worth taking the tep steps you are guided to take. I truly apologize. For some reason, I start doing my readings and I cannot speak. Who knows what's going on with that? Happens every time. Anyway. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. I'm telling you, right now, I'm guiding you to do this. Guiding you right now to do this. With faith and trust, leaving the past behind, all of his past lives are in this bag. Okay, they're in the bag. Yeah, he's got the experiences from them, but they're in the bag. He's carrying them, and he's, he's just, he's ready for the new journey. He's ready. He has faith in himself. He loves himself. He's not worried. He has no fear. He doesn't care what anybody else thinks. He's going on his journey. Love yourself first, okay? That's the biggest message of for you, Capricorn, for July. But be aware, there could be a reconciliation. <clears throat> I believe there's going to be a reconciliation. Okay? It's not a could be. I believe there is going to be. If this doesn't resonate with all of you, then check your, your uh, moon sign or your rising sign. Or perhaps I'm not the reader for you. This is going to recon This is going to resonate with the people that it is supposed to resonate with, okay? And that's the way it is. Someone from your past is returning to your life. You've known each other before. I told you that at the beginning. This is this right here. It's an unexpected choice in love. And I believe it's somebody that you know. So this is your month of July. It looks pretty interesting. Very interesting, to say the least. Um, looks like the, that you're going to have to let something go. And um, then your life is going to move forward towards happily ever after. Okay? Perhaps with somebody that you've known before. Alright? There's going to be no shame. There's going to be no fear. You get to be yourself fully, 100%. Alright? Um... You need to heal the past. You need to love yourself first. You need to forgive yourself and others. And I think that's happening. I do. I think that this is happening. You are forgiving yourself and others. Um, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual typing expectations. That's what this is. This brings you in an unexpected choice in love. Something that you just did not see coming. Something that you wouldn't have even considered. But the magnetic pull is so strong that there is nothing you can do to stop it from happening. Because it's this is messages from the universe. These two cards. I mean, a lot of this. This is all messages from the universe. But these two in particular, along with this one and this one. Okay? Big changes are on the horizon for you. And the seeds are planted. Towards the middle of July is when you're really going to see it. It's really going to start happening towards the middle of July. <clears throat> That's what I have for you, Capricorn. I have to warn you before I put this camera up, I don't know what I look like. Because I haven't looked in the mirror in a while. And I've put my hands through my hair several times. Um, this is who I am. 
Either you like me or I don't, and that's okay with me. Um, I hope you enjoyed the reading, and I will talk to you soon.